I wanted to have you on because I have a kind of, um, it's not a Neera Tandon obsession. Uh, and it's not because she came up with a term for me. Do you guys want to know the term she came up for me? I guess. Or with for me? It's um, Dalton Socialist. So I went to this oh. school. It's a private school called Dalton. Is that but where Matt Iglesias went? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We were the same year, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you know him? And, and he, had long, he had hair like to hear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's exciting. We took Russian fiction together. Wow. Um, yeah. And, you um, Russian fiction? Russian literature. Yeah, Russian literature, I think. At your, an elective. High, at your high school? Yeah. That's what I was saying. Ridicule really? <laughs> it if you must. I understand. I did the same thing, yeah. So she uses this word. I Either she created it or someone else did and she uses it. And it's obviously about me, not to sound whatever, because long story short, Iglesias is not someone she would call a socialist. And I don't know who else, any lefties, any other lefties who went there uh, who she would want to be hostile towards at least right um dean wareham of the band luna who's a bernie fan did go there but don't think that's who she's talking about so you're like a, a perfect and again i don't want you to feel tanned and objectified I've had on matt to talk about health care i've asked him about many things minimum wage stuff but there's something about the way that obviously her tweets about republicans don't matter and Obviously, as my like fellow leftists, you know, point out, twi- her tweets are not the issue. It's her policies, right? But to me, the reason that the Twitter her Twitter presence does matter, Tandon's Twitter presence, because in real life she weaponizes identity politics and lived experience, right? To mm-hmm. she cites the fact that she grew up on Section Eight housing. She was on food stamps. And then what does she push? She pushes austerity. So she she cites her background benefiting from these programs and then wants to turn around and deprive others of right, those yeah. things, right? She cites her being, you know, her, her parents were hardworking and her mother was from India and she's a woman of color. It's like, that's great. And you also cozy up to Netanyahu, want to steal the oil from Libya. Um, again, just a lot of things that, that she uses identity and lived experience to cover for. And the the Twitter thing that kills me is it's like she condemns and, you know, laments the online toxicity that exists. And you are one of the people uh, she accused of doing that. Demands that every single person, that, that Sanders, like, disavow, repudiate, condemn any and every random online person who either likes him or claims to like him. And then at the same time, she elevates people, hangs out with people in real life who say absolutely like misogynist, anti-Semitic, Islamophobic things. And people are like, who cares? It's her tweets. I'm like, yeah, of course it's her tweets. But there is something to her tweets that that's significant. And then with you, I was like, oh, this is where it comes full circle, right? Because, and I, I'm going to ask you about this, but you and Tandon and Joan Walsh got into a policy fight. And that was resolved. Uh, basically, they got you fired and cited your online to- alleged online toxic behavior. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, that's really what it is. It's like her Twitter presence is the same thing as her real life presence, which is weaponizing identity politics, lived experience, and on Twitter, civility politics to try to neuter the left. And when you were fired from Demos, that was like kind of an example of what she tried to do. Anyway, that's sorry. I didn't. That was me working stuff out okay. with you and Leslie here. But can you share that ex, the what happened between you or among you and uh, Walsh and Tandon? Yeah, you know. So in the 2015 primary, I actually didn't. I actually didn't know who Nera Tandon was before that point. But she was getting. She got pretty active on Twitter at that point. I kind of wonder if she was uh, how active she was before then, because I feel like I would have noticed her. But she really got going then. And you know, it was Bernie versus Hillary. Things were really heating up. And uh, she, she just started tweeting at me uh, for a while, and then I clicked on her name, and I was like, oh, it's an important person. I should follow her. Um, and, and we would kind of go back and forth for a while, and one of the big trolls I used to <laughs> do on her is um, every time she would tweet something about you know, Hillary Clinton saying you know, she's, she's super progressive, and she takes no progressive backseat to Bernie Sanders, I would always say, this is why we can't nominate Hillary, because she's too progressive. She can't right. win the general election. And she would this would this would really get her wound up, and I don't know. Over time, I would just kind of agitate, you know, like that. Nothing ugly, just just sort of screwing around, you know, like you do online. Um, 
and then at one and then what happened was when I got fired is Joan Walsh wrote a piece at the nation that was basically like I could never support Bernie Sanders because he all his supporters are you know uh, misogynist uh, racist Bernie bros like is one of those pieces and Hillary Clinton is the candidate of women and people of color and I replied to Joan you know that that it's really about age that if you you know young women are for bernie and and older women are for hillary and young people of color are for bernie and all and you know we see this in the polls and like it it turns out that there are more older voters than younger right. voters so like overall but like you know i was sort of pushing back on that and i kind of gotten tangled up with joan about it and then nira comes into the thread so Nira's not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not mm -hmm. tweeting at Nira Dan. And she comes into the thread and starts, you know, getting mad at me for, you know, criticizing Joan, I guess. And then uh, then we have the run-in where I'm like, well, I, you know, you worked on welfare reform. Hillary Clinton worked on welfare reform. That was uh, no good for me. And then, like you said, she's done this thing, and she's doing it now even in her bid for trying to get through this OMB nomination where she tries to use the fact that she was on benefits as a kid as a kind of identity shield to say you can't criticize me for what I've done in politics. Very similar to, you know, how someone might say, well, how, you know, I'm uh, speaking as a woman, you can't, you know, this or that, or speaking at, but in this case, it's speaking as someone who received AFDC, you know? Right. <laughs> like, like it's a really niche, uh, weird identity to like, you know, like, well, the, of course, the, the Section 8 community, and we all have very similar opinions and experiences, and, you know, it's like, it's a really weird thing to kind of, pitch that way right. I, I tweeted back you know uh, well scumbag Nira uses welfare when she needs as it takes it away from others when they need it and uh, they decided to really fixate on like scumbag like oh well, nah, he's gone over the line he used the word scumbag um, which of course uh, I don't know if pe people are real plugged in the internet know that was a reference to scumbag Steve meme which is which was a big thing at the time um, so it wasn't even like I was calling her a scumbag. Even if I was, that's a pretty yeah. low-level taunt. Like, yeah, um, yeah. yeah, and then, uh, I don't know, the, one way or another, Demos fired me, put out a press release saying I'm, you know, uh, just a horrible abuser online, I guess. Um, and, and, and this was, bef not that this matter. I'm just, Joan Walsh had called you a troll before <laughs> after you said this. It doesn't matter because I'm before, not just Yeah, before. Yeah, she it, was yeah. calling me a troll, and that's why Nira jumped in. I don't remember the full thread, but Nira basically was like, you know, I don't in solidarity with Joan against Matt Brunig, the troll, who trolls me also kind of thing, right. you know? So. And then, Which, I mean, I did, but not in a... In a, you know, like I said, like making fun of like, well, if she's so progressive, then right. I guess she can, you know, like shit like that. In a way that you would have with a straight white man. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Well, I mean, she didn't accuse me. Th I don't think she's accused me of, uh, of, of you know, going against her as a woman, a woman of color. Oh, okay. Thankfully, um, yeah. I, I don't remember her ever trying That's to pull a lot that. That's self-restraint uh, for her. She yeah, yeah. Weaponizes that quite a bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, and, and so that was a fight, and then that turned into a whole thing, right? Where I, I mean, just going back a little bit when you said the, the niche thing, I mean, it wouldn't make sense if you were saying I, you know, Section Eight housing. There's a logic and like moral like a morality and sense of justice to saying i grew up under these conditions and because of that that's informed me and my perspective and that's why i'm going to fight for people like that people who, you know who like my mom but it is extremely sordid to use that and then say you know entitlements are on the table yeah uh, we yeah, no, it's it's, it's weird, security. and and but you you do also see that in other groups, like they oh, yeah. they want to put they'll take someone who has the relevant identity to really bring down the sword, because then they can kind of say, well, I grew up in this yeah. or that, or I I've experienced racism or whatever, and then they do something that. Uh, makes racism worse or, you know, is, is right. bad for the economic prospects of people of color or something like that. But, you know, like that's something that they do in all on all the groups, it seems like uh, it's, a, it's a common strategy. But yeah, but yeah, it's weird. It's it's a weird thing when someone is pointing out, hey, you cut this for you to be like, how dare you? I used to be on it. <laughs> it's like, well. yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like why you it makes you a sellout.